Uh, hello guys, today we're going to do bracket, the B bracket of the Legends League. A bracket's already been completed. Top three will be Andre, Andre Vader, and Star Fox. Those guys will make it. The Warrior and Cena have been eliminated. So today we're going to see... We're going to see these five try to make it into the to the playoff slash tournament or whatnot. And just for shits and giggles. Yeah, right there. Cena went winless. Kind of sad a little bit. Oh well. So yeah, this is what we're going to work with here. We're just going to... We're just going to start with uh, Flair and Monroe. Because <laughs> Monroe, when he... Pre-80s, he, like, was so fucking dirty. So this is going to be a very, like... DQ... Possible DQ fight. But yeah, um, after the Legends League completes, I've done both single and tag. I'm not going to do... And there, there's also the junior division, but even if I do something for the juniors, it just, it wouldn't be nearly as expansive. I don't think I would do the decade thing, I, there's not like a ton of junior wrestlers to really throw in that would be considered Legends. And then six man tag, that's just, I don't, there's not really a lot of like, six man tag legendary teams really, outside of like famous stables, so. Yeah, possibly juniors, but I wouldn't hold my breath. As far as I'm concerned, like, after we complete this, it's going to be kind of free reign for the Fire Pro show. Probably just a lot of YWA stuff, because I'll be throwing in, like, actual wrestlers into with created wrestlers. Right there. It's going to be interesting. A lot of people, I remember one guy yeah. on Discord or whatever, when he saw that Vader won the 90s, it was kind of shocking because it's like no one would think of Vader with the 90s, but he was a, he was prominent in the 90s. He did do very well in that decade, and he yeah. just so happened to be, you know, beat everyone. Ooh, low flow already. There should be a drinking game of how many low blows this player will do in a, in a wrestling match. Ooh, there go, Ric Flair out of bounds right there. Outside the thing. Oh, he grabs a chair. Three, four, five, you know, six, if Ric Flair didn't have like, seven, if Ric Flair and Shane Douglas eight, didn't have like issues with each other, Ric Flair would have been a great ECW ten, wrestler. Is he, he's like constantly Eleven. fighting dirty, breaking faces. One. I mean, he, there's so many matches Two. where he's all bloodied up. I mean, Three. he could have been a. I could have definitely seen him work ECW really well. Yeah. Oh, choking there. Two. Woo! in here. Brain Buster! this video here we're gonna know who the yeah. six guys gonna be oh there we go a low blow one two oh the I like I laugh that they both have the same chair taunt
I'm gonna choke here. Something to note though, if, if someone doesn't win by pinfall or submission, they'll only get four points. So that makes a big difference there. That can make a huge difference. I think that's a Wakatane. I think that's what's called. One, two. Oh, there it goes again. right there. Ah, chair ton again. I feel like if I have to it will be a DQ. Oh wow. <laughs> Going in first. That's the, yeah, this is the third time. One, two, me too. Ric Flair needs to... Oh. What? <laughs> oh look, we got Ole Anderson coming in. Gonna help out Rick. Really, the best way to tell Ole and Arn apart is Ole has... His hair is a lot more blonder than Arn's. Arn's is darker. I also know because the model I have in the game does not wear that. Well, maybe it, he might. But, yeah, I think that's all Anderson. And he has a chair. It's gone. Alright, Rick needs to let... Ooh, underhook. Double, double hook suplex. Time's done. Let's see if that's enough to help wear down Sputnik. One, two. Oh, uh, almost had that in there. <clears throat> I'm swinging neck breaker there. Yeah. Oh, low blow. Oh, there we go again. I don't think it'll... Yep, let's see if it One, works. Two. No, oh, Ric Flair has to be careful here. Oh, there he goes Whoa. to figure four. Let's see if it's enough. Give up. Give up. Give up. We have Wool, let's see what he does here. Some punches, looks like he's just gonna punch him. But Nick's really out of breath. A little Give domino up. stretch there. Give up! Give up! Catches his breath. I'll spot next really dates. Oh, nope, no back grapple there. Oh. 
trip up there. chops there, uh, working the leg there. Oh, running the ropes, elbow drop in the back. Oh, there we go again. Flair has too much energy. A little clothesline there. Elbow drop. Oh, counter Irish whip. Oh, back switch. Oh, low blow. Oh, then to a One, little roll two. pin there. Oh, man. Yeah. She's another low blow. I think that's going to be a rope break, though. One, no. No. Two. Flair's getting worn down now. Let's throw him to the corner. Spikeman going for it. Ooh, gets a little move there. Yeah. Or low blows. Oh, low blows back. Ooh. Ooh. And then the signature flare fall. I love it. Oh, low blow into a roll up. Two. No. Third stomps in the corner. Ah, some stomps in the corner on Flair. Little Irish whip there. Oh, no! big chop. Counter. Spike neck. Taunt. See, see what he goes for. Oh, low blow. Oh, Spiney gets thrown to the corner. Oh, they run into each other. Both men are down. Flair, first one out. Drags him out of the corner. Let's see what he does here. Oh, takes him out from underneath. Uh, gets suplexed. Spot Nick taunts. This match has been going on. This has been a pretty long match here. Swinging neck breaker for spot neck. Clothesline. Oh, chair time. Yeah. Mm. Flair gets DQ'd with the chair taunt. Outsmired by Sputnik. Sputnik wins this one, but I don't think he's going to get the full five, though. Yeah, DQ. Great match, though. Great back and forth. Oh, no, he got the five. I, then I, I, guess, I guess DQs can count for the full five. It could have been... Maybe like, like um, count count outs could be four. I think I think it's count outs. Yeah, it has to be count outs. 
Yeah, Sputnik gets the full five. All right, um, let's let's see here. What can we do here? Let's do let's do a Beast Slayer versus Shane Douglas. Also, like last one, we're gonna have ten mat matches. Now, how long this video goes depends on how long the matches go. So we'll just have to see. That's synced up so perfectly. see. Shane Douglas is kind of orthodox slash tactical. He's not really like Beast Slayer though. He's a power guy. Oh, he's going muscle buster right there off the top rope. <laughs> Inverted power bomb. Little headlock right there. DDT. Yeah. Ooh, a little arm takedown. Those are always nasty. Yeah. Douglas gets thrown to the corner. Fights out of it. Ooh. He slayer with a little press slam. Fist drop there. Ooh, goes for his finisher, but gets taken down. Ooh, two stone pile driver. Goes for a trapped pin. Shane Douglas fights out, but Shane Douglas has to watch out for that. But that can be a very um, deciding move there. Ah, Beast Slayer gets body slammed out of the way. Shane Douglas goes out. They grapple up. Oh, a little trip up. Looks like that was a DDT right there. Like a double arm DDT of some sort. Oh, the beast tamer on the concrete floor. Oh, he gets chaired. Oh, somebody has to. All right, beast labor in a hurry. Oh, he got lucky. Oh, a little chin lock in the corner. Another press slam right there. Yeah. Yeah. A little running bulldog right there. Look who's ghost for a pin. Only gets one. Headlock takedown. Right. Only gets a rope break though. Hmm. Ooh, final power bomb. One, two. Gets two point nine out of that. 
DDT. Oh. Oh. Missed it. Wow, uh, Jane Douglas falls. Lee Slayer gets body slam. Shane Douglas goes to the top. Lands a fist. Lee Slayer first one up. Oh. A little. Yeah, definitely some variation of the double arm PVP. I forgot what it was called. It goes for a pin. One, two. It's a two count there. Boom. Irish whip here. Gets elbowed. Yeah. Ooh, back, side suplex. Gets whipped. Ooh, boss man slam. Ooh, big move right there. Uh, press slam right there. past 10 minutes here. Kind of anyone's match here. Beast Slayer has definitely had some highlight moves, but we've got, oh, we got a counter right there. Ooh, belly to belly suplex. His finisher, let's see if it's good enough. 2.9. Tombstone pile driver. Ooh, ooh, run into the corner there. Ooh, big boot. Oh, Beast Slayer goes on top. Coffin drop. Another tombstone pile driver. Come on. Ooh, we're gonna have interference here. One. Looks like Dean Malenko is helping out Shane Douglas here. Belly to belly. <laughs> Linko was bleeding from that counter yeah. right there. Ooh, German suplex. Right. <laughs> Big punch there. Yeah. Ooh. -hoo. Just underhook power box from the Linko right there. Um, One, see if it's two, enough. Three. And there it is. Shane Douglas doesn't kick out in time. Beastlayer wins the first one of his. DDT, that's what it was. Save that. Alright, now, now an RVD match here. Do him against Flair.
And any confusion about Ric Flair as the Redemption Heavyweight Champion, that's just... That's because he man, man, was uh, in a manager role with uh, Andre when he won it. So that's what, what the credit is for. chop right there. A little test of strength. Flair wins it. Uh, transitional moves are early on here. Yeah, Bob. Irish whip there. Big trip up there by Flair. Knee drop. RVD in the corner. Gets stomped. One. Kicks out at one. Quick chops. Goes for a pin. One. Only gets one. Ooh, some punches Give right up. there. Give up. Give up. Inverted atomic drop there. Woo! Big chop. Another inverted atomic drop there. <laughs> Woo! Flair wins that one. Five gone. Goes for a back wrap. Ooh, a monkey flip counter. Or if he goes for a pin, doesn't get it. Back drop. Mm. I mean, didn't go through what I was going to plan on doing there. Oh, a little five-star frog splash. Saw a lot of those with his match against Cena for the 2000s championship match. <laughs> They're working the legs, trying to get them ready for a figure four leg lock. Woo! Little kick sequence there. Player fights out of the corner. Ooh, fancy pin by RVD. Almost had him there. Brainbuster. Oh. Mm. 
kick there. Chair taunt. That's what how Flair lost his first match. Right. <sighs> Five star frog splash on the back of Flair. Goes for a pin. One, two, three. Oh, he gets it. RVD beats Flair. Gets five points. Five star frog splash. Got him. Decent match. Didn't see. Didn't go on as long, but that's okay. Let's have Sputnik go against Shane. I guess that looks like an interesting match. block there. It's going to be an interesting match. I'm kind of curious to see. See, They're both, in a lot of ways, kind of even, but Spugnik definitely more dirtier tactics than Douglas. Douglas, his moveset varies a lot more, but Spugnik sometimes these older style wrestlers, sometimes their movesets may not be that flashy or varied, but the timing of them and how they hit them and when they hit them can make a huge difference. Oh, swing neck breaker there. right there. Just for it. Looks like a camel clutch there. Irish whip. Backdrop. Headlock takedown. Right. Oh brass knuckle head. Choking. Give up. Camel clutch right there. Big clothesline. 
Boom, chair taunt. That's how Spucknik won the last match. Spucknik being incredibly dirty here. Yeah. Low blow goes for a pin. One, two. It's two point nine right there. Always oh, going for top rope move, fist drop. Right. Uh, Shane Douglas outside, Three. little days. Big move there. Yeah. Fist drop. Chin lock yeah, right there. Yeah. All low blow. Goes for a One, pin. Two. Blue counter. Low blow back. Neckbreaker. Oh. Yeah. D. Malenko coming out again. Good help out Douglas. Oh, he's getting a chair. Ooh. Looks like Sputnik's partner's following along. I don't know his name, but yeah. It's actually the, I think, the first time or the second time I've seen Damn. interference literally following. That is crazy. Well, oh, Shane Douglas gets thrown outside. Oh boy, this is not good for Douglas. It's his partner waits to get thrown back in. Big punch there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, leg lock right there. <coughs> Man, both their time's done right there at the same time. That's crazy. <coughs> Fist drop right there. One. Yeah. Oh, fist drop right there. DDT. Come on. Well, goes for a figure four. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Come on. DT right there. Spot my first one up. Yeah. Oh, another yeah. figure four. Give up. Give up. Give up. Fights out of it. Yeah. Low blow goes for a pin. One, two, three. Oh, doesn't kick out in time. Sputnik wins again. There's a win by DQ this time, though.
Sputnik leading, RVD and Beastly are tied. Flair and Douglas have yet to get on the board. Let's do a let's do Beastlayer and Flair. Actually, you know what? Let's do Beastlayer and RVD. We'll do that. Counter there. Suplex right there. Oh, I'll sit down, neck breaker. Ooh, a little Texas clover leaf. Down that breaker. Oh, five star frog splat. Oh, he misses it. backhand. <laughs> Top and drop. Suplex. Let's see where. Big kick there. Ooh, fancy pen. Let's see if it works. So we got such a press slam here. No, oh, a little roundhouse kick. One, two. It's two with that one. Yeah. Mm, another Texas cold relief. Working yeah. legs is actually really smart. RVD uses yeah. a lot of his like a lot of his a lot of kicking in his offense. Boss Man Slam. The oh, whole overhead belly to belly. Oh, 
ha, ha, ha. Little double missile. Is that a missile drop kick? Five star frog splash misses. Hmm. A gut wrench pile driver. Little punch kick off here. RVD wins that one. Little kick sequence. Mmm, <laughs> big move there. That was like a single missile drop, a single missile kick there. Five star frog splash. Quite missed the mark there. <laughs> big boot in the back of the head of RVD. Oh, John Cena going to help RVD out here. Oh, flying crossbody attack there. Cena. <laughs> oh, total elimination. I like how Cena's, like, alternate outfit is that it's the exact same, except for, like, instead of orange, it's purple. It's like, that's the only difference. I love it. Because his default outfit is just the orange with the bands. That's it. Yeah, Cena helping RVD. Cena got eliminated. Oh, STF. Cena was eliminated in the A bracket. Now he's helping RVD out in the B bracket. And while a lot of these legends are competing against each other here, it's important to note that at the end of it, they're all still going to have to be allies when they're with their invasion of the YWA. <laughs> Five Star Frog Splash lands that time. Beast Slayer, though, first to get up. Had to catch his breath. I think that's the Bloody Cross. Oh, overhead belly to belly throws Beast Slayer outside. Nerd he goes out to grapple him. Oh, throws him into the apron. <laughs> Gut wrench pile driver on the concrete floor. I already went for a chair, but couldn't get it in time. Get in just in time. RVD gets, hits a kick off the ropes. Ooh, big move there by RVD. Oh, tombstone pile driver. Spinning heel kick. Oh, final power bomb. Goes for a pin. One, two, three. And that's it right there. Beast Slayer wins again. Wait, did he win the first one? Let me see. I think he did. Final power bomb. 93, wow. Yeah, he's one too. Actually, you know what? Let's do um, Flair and Douglas. There's a good one.
these two actually have a pretty bitter rivalry in real life. Douglas and Flair apparently have issues with each other, I think. Especially, like, I don't know, like, a big thing was apparently Ric Flair was going to do something cool in ECW where he, they, to would build on this kind of heat they had because Shane Douglas like trash talked Flair when he became the franchise in ECW so on like he trash talked classic wrestlers and the big one was Flair. Now where that came from I forgot. I don't quite remember why he like went the heat with the moment with that but it eventually got to a point where it became big and it became part of the thing. And he just went up to Flair's like, Alright, look, I know we have our differences, but if we do if we do a thing here, we could potentially create something really cool. And Flair agreed, but nothing ever came. And Douglas has always kind of thought Flair was a bit... I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's, there's a lot of rivalry between the two here. DDT right there. Flair gets thrown out of the ring. Douglas goes out. To, oh, Flair grabs a chair but drops it. Swinging a neck breaker on the concrete floor. Oh, figure four by Douglas on Flair on the concrete floor. Irish whip there. Oh, bolt of oh, face crusher by Flair. More leg work by Flair. Oh, run into a sleeper hole. Give up. Give up. Oh, Connor. Woo! Big shot. Give up. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Now, this is, I believe this is Arn. Yeah, this is Arn Anderson. Yeah, all Anderson's definitely a whole lot. All Anderson's a blonde. Arn's definitely more brass brown hair. Let's see if Arn does a little. Let's see if Arn does like his spine buster or his Gordon buster. Ooh, counter counters yeah, yeah. over there. Side suplex. There goes for a pin. Two. Kicks out at two. Oh, tag team suplex on Douglas. Oh, we got Malenko again. Man, Malenko is just... It's weird because there's... Outside of Douglas, there's like... That stable's full of guys, but... Malenko's only one been showing up for all these matches. Anderson's time's done, but Malenko's going to be in there to even the odds here. Arm lock there. Ooh. Big tag team moves right there. 
little drop toll hold. Malenko with a little German suplex action there. His time's done. We certainly have all oh, Ric Flair doing the chair trick. That happens again. Flair, Flair's going to win with DQ. Yeah. Little sledgehammer in the back of the flare right there. Big move by Douglas there. Yeah. See yeah. the headbutts. Yeah. <laughs> Togs. Yeah. No, I poke, I poke there. Oh, oh there's yeah. a chair trick. Well, I guess that's a not not enough. Sometimes it's yeah. twice, sometimes it doesn't. It's it's yeah. random, I think, a little bit. Abdominal stretch. Give up. Give up. Yeah. Side suplex. <sighs> In. One, two, three. And there it is, right there. Douglas beats yeah. Flair. <laughs> backdrop that's what it's called wow all right Rick Flair is winless he's in lots of trouble here We'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do V-Slayer and Spotback. We'll do that one. Trap pin, but it doesn't keep. <coughs> Counter. <coughs> Chair trick, but it doesn't keep actually. Be slow your fights out of that one. Maybe if you're near like the ropes, you can you can cancel it. Sit down, neck breaker. Oh, 
called Suplex Lance Sputnik out of the ring. Fist drop there. <laughs> oh, and inverted power bomb there. Slayer has to be careful. Average whip. Aha, uh -huh, Alabama slam there. Oh, Beast Tamer. Gets 2.9 out of that. Almost had him there. Oh. Now Spugnik only gets one from that. Ah. Well, Beast Slayer goes out of the ring. Quickly gets back in. Oh, now Sputnik gets thrown out of the ring. Beast Slayer taunts. Sputnik's really looking a little woozy there. Oh, Tombstone pile driver on the concrete floor. Grabs a chair, drops it to pick him up. Oh, Spugnik. There's going to be a lot of chairs over there. Spugnik brings the chair in with him. Oh, counter there. Big punch there. Oh, Texas Cloverleaf. Give up. Give up. Give up. Ah, oh, down neck breaker. Oh, trap pin. Two, three. And it's enough. The trap pin works. Beast Slayer beats Sputnik. that guys um what was it um oh yeah uh rvd and uh shane douglas that'll be the next one here Alright, this is going to be an interesting match here.
swing neck breaker there. Inverted atomic drop. Fireman's carry there. Wire switch there. Headlock takedown. Let's see what happens there. Give up. Oh. A reversal there. RVD gets thrown out of the ring. Shane Douglas chooses to catch his breath. Arm boy take down. DDT right there. You know, these two do have a history with their work in ECW. I, you know, I don't know how many matches, um, not only think, I don't know how many matches uh, Douglas and RVD actually had against each other. I assume probably a few. Ooh, overhead belly to belly suplex throws Douglas out of the mm -hmm. ring. RVD now takes a breather. <laughs> Atomic drop there. Ooh, Cena's coming out in his purple wraps again to help out RVD. Total elimination maneuver there. What a fancy pin. One, two. Gets two from that. Another fancy pin attempt. One, two. Almost had him there. Yeah. Big move there by Cena. Now close Cena's timed out. Five star frog splash right there. Roundhouse kick there. Shin breaker there. Ten minutes gone. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, belly to belly. Let's see if it's enough. Two, three. And it is. Douglas wins. Beats RVD. <laughs> Turn belly to belly. All right, so now we got B Slayer has fifteen. 
Douglas and Monroe are tied with 10. RVD has 5 and Flair is winless. So it's probably safe to say that Flair is, will be eliminated. Now RVD will have to see. Now RVD has a match with First, we're going to have Beastlayer against Ric Flair. Let's see if Ric Flair can make things interesting here for Beastlayer. Let's take a look at that here. We got a reversal there. A little abdominal stretch there. Another one here. Ooh, counter with the power bomb. Ooh, Alabama slam there. Gut wrench pile driver. Come on. Come on. Oh, beast tamer. One, two. Oh, almost had him. That would have been quite a kind of quick end there. Counter Flair is out of the ring. B Slayer goes out. It's gonna oh attack him with the chair. Ooh, right in the face. Ooh, plank of wood on the side now. Oh, B Slayer bringing the chair with them. This is a swing. Oh, dragging the space on the ropes. Wow. Oh, um, and a slam right there. Ooh, low drop kick. Yeah. Oh, beast tamer. One, two, three. There it is right there. Beast Slayer sweeps the bracket. Flair is eliminated. Doesn't win any matches after going to second place in the 80s tournament. 
him and Cena. It, it's crazy. Like, like you have all these legends and. It's kind of like in like those tournaments. It's it's weird to see like guys like Bret Hart and Stone Cold get eliminated, but at the same time, that's just part of the process. There's it's so competitive. There's so many guys that you that you have to deliver constantly. You can't have an off match, and that's kind of the the high standard it is for this kind of thing. All right, one last match for the video. Well, let's take a look here. All right, so. Beastlayer, he he's going RVD. If RVD wins this, he has a chance. They'll probably if he wins this, there will be a tiebreaker round, and we will do it in this video. We'll make it a long ass video, but it is what it is. If uh, Sputnik wins this, then it's e then it's an easy like Beastlayer, Douglas, and. The role. You see, if Beast, if if another thing is Sputnik wins this, that means for both brackets, the pre '80s and the '90s, and the creative wrestler guys make it through. So the '80s, the '80s and the 2000s get eliminated in both. That is so weird how that worked out. But yeah, one last match. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna win this here. Between RVD and Sputnik. Backdrop right there. So this is an important match because RVD needs to win this to give him a shot at joining. Spugnik needs. Spugnik wins this. He can. He's guaranteed. He. It's pretty much will give him the slot. Enziguri right there. suplex right there. Oh, after he gets tossed out of the ring.
So one count from that. Five minutes gone. Ooh, big move by RVD right there. And it stops in the corner. Yeah. Low blow. Let's see if it One, works. Two. Only gets a two there. <laughs> Counter. Trip up. Clothesline right there. <sighs> Swinging neck breaker there. Back grapple gets counter. Counter Irish whip. El elbow. Back grapple. Countered again. RVD throws him. Kick gets blocked. Overhead belly to belly throws Sputnik Monroe out of the ring, but he's the but he comes out and comes in with a chair. RVD goes out trying to mess around with Sputnik. Ooh, swiped on a chair. As RVD was taunting him. Neck breaker. <laughs> no high kick there. Ooh, five star frog splash lands. <laughs> Throws him to the ropes. This clothesline. Ooh, fancy pin attempt. Almost had him there. Ooh, the Waka team, I believe it's called. See if it's enough. Two, three. And it is. Bucknick wins. RVD is eliminated. <laughs> rolling Cradle. It's not the Wacka team. It's Rolling Cradle. That's what it is. Okay. My team has a kind of a similar thing to it. Alright, here's the tournament. Here we go. Oh boy. So Andre and Spugnik, they're going to have a rematch. No, Andre has a bye. Andre and Beastlayer have buys. Spugnik will face Star Fox and Vader will face Douglas. So Vader and Douglas still actually have a rematch of that 90s championship match right there. That's the only one there. Now, this will happen in the next video. Now, here's the thing. Unlike these ones where they've been mega long, these ones will be short because it'll be like one, two, it'll be only five matches. Like, so it won't be a, that long of a video, really, compared to the last two. Let's look at the league quickly. Let's look at final, final stuff here for the B. B Slayer has 20. Yeah. 15 for Monroe, Douglas had 10. Let's look at, let's see, yeah, it's the same freaking thing there. The only difference is Andre was the top guy, Vader was second, the creative wrestler was last. So, pre 80s, 90s, and then creative wrestler. In the B bracket, it's created wrestler, pre
pre-80s and then 90s. Yeah, just... Weird to see guys, like, go, like, on wins, but it's competitive. It's not a joke. This isn't, like, this isn't easy stuff here. We'll save here. And yeah, Sputnik, Star Fox, Vader, Douglas, Andre, and Beast Slayer have buys. And yeah, we're gonna find out the winner in the next video. This is this is great. This is why I, this we've been building up to finding a legit winner for quite a long time. Even in like the original Legends League that we had to cancel, it was built up even then. So this is gonna be very interesting to see. Now, out of these guys, the only guy that wasn't in the original Legends League was Sputnik. Everyone else was in that thing. So that's just something to keep in mind here. Well, also Beast. Actually, you know, Sputnik and Beast Slayer weren't in that. So, two-thirds of them were. So, this is going to be interesting to see. Um, let me know your guys' predictions in the comments. I'm really curious on what you guys think is going to win this. Um, and, uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm occasionally on the chat with uh, me, Mike, and anyone else at the camp company. You don't want to use the YouTube comment section. We do have a couple options. The first one is we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in the about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a discussion tab in our channel as well. and can access that through a PC or laptop computer. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.